This is the Sydney Harbour National Park and it is right across the road from where I go to work which is Taronga Zoo. Um, I absolutely love my job. I'm very very happy there. Um, and I always manage to get in a little bit early. I know, strange for me but that's public transport. <laughs> and this morning I thought I would go for a wander through the National Park. And it's really not very big. Absolutely tiny to be honest. And the soil is very sandy look. Because the water is just down there. You see the blue through the trees? Yes. That is Sydney Harbour. Oh, here's something kind of cool to show you. This huge pile of leaves and earth and dirt and things, this is a bush turkey nest. And they make these huge piles and then they lay their eggs in the middle and then they leave them. Now, it's thought that they're the only bird to do this. And the only other creature that do these, only other creatures, rather, are alligators, crocodiles, and turtles. So, maybe these bush turkeys that they've... There's most likely some bush turkeys around. There's always around here. Um, but none today. I have seen a rabbit this morning, however, which is a bit unfortunate. As lovely as little bunnies are, we don't want them here. It's a very popular spot for dog walkers, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm almost back at work now. It's actually just over there. Can you see? <laughs> so this park really isn't that big, but it is glorious. I love the amount of different varieties of tree there are and plants. In British woodland it's all fairly fairly standard. We do have a bit of variety, but they're all sort of, you know, tall trees and underbrush. Whereas this, this is so different. So that up there is a eucalyptus tree. That seems to be the most common one around here. Uh, there's lots of different types of eucalyptus trees and I'm really not very good at identifying them, but that is definitely one. And I think this one that I'm standing underneath is also some type of eucalyptus, but you can see it's very, very different. And then we've got all this sort of scrub things, and we've got these big palm type things. Can you see this? We don't have anything like that at home. There's another eucalyptus tree. I love the bark. And I love the smell. Oh, I wish I could adequately describe what the smell is like. It is incredible. It's sort of subtle and strong at the same time. And sometimes it's almost, almost like alcoholic. <laughs> but it is absolutely wonderful. And I've also got the smell of damp earth for the first time <laughs> it's in a very, very long time because a couple of days ago we had an awful lot of rain. It rained for almost two days straight and the earth is actually damp, which is incredible. <laughs> but yes, I might come for a few more morning walks because it is lovely here. And I'm trying to get over my nervousness and anxiety of being out in the bush because there are spiders here and 90% of the time I don't mind spiders back home. Spiders, uh, no big deal. But here the spiders are very scary. <laughs> so I'm trying to, trying to get over that slight phobia that I'm developing. <laughs> And I'll try and figure out what some of the bird calls are that we can hear. Um, 
I could definitely hear some cockaburras um, earlier, obviously, cockaburras everywhere. Um, but I could also hear some cockatoos, um, which are very cool and very, very loud. Um, that one, I believe, is a minor bird, but I'm not 100% sure. Something I'm trying to learn. It was one of the first things I did when I got to Australia, was buy myself a little bird identification book, because I couldn't stand not knowing what all of these little birds were. Anyway, I must go to work now. So I will talk to you again soon. Bye! These are the bush turkeys. We get an awful lot of them here. <laughs> They're kind of cute. In a sort of dinosaur, velociraptor type way. <laughs>